Hi everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this Expedition truck. It's a four wheel drive truck, it's all clad in copper, it's got bits that lift up and fold down and slide out and it's all driven by electric linear actuators. So if you want to see more on that, please go and have a look at some of my earlier videos. But in this video, I'm just going to show you an LFP battery bank that I've been making for the house battery for the truck and I've overcharged it and damaged some of the cells. This is my attempt at fixing it. So thank you all so much for watching and let's have a look. This is the battery in question. These are 280 amp hour EVE LFP cells. They're very common. And I've got 24 of these cells. I'm building three 24 volt batteries. So there'll be three banks of eight cells to create one 24 volt battery. And I'm gonna connect those in parallel. I'm doing that instead of building one large battery. I'm doing that because if one cell goes down, it only takes out one battery. I can re remove the battery, replace the cell and reinstall it and I'll still have power. So I've been top balancing these cells. I've connected them all in parallel and then I've connected this 3.2 volt charger onto, the, onto it, which will balance the cells and get them all to an equal level of charge. But what I did was I set the target voltage on this charger too high. I set it to about 4.6 and it should be about you know 3.2 to 3.6 so i realized that this battery was overcharged i took it off charge and i put a load on it to try and bring the voltage back down to a, a, a rate where you, a level where you would like it to be so i've brought the volt i've put a little halogen bulb on it and i brought the voltage back down to about 3.4 volts so now we've got the, the, the overcharge out the top off these cells. We've taken the, the top charge off it and we've got them down to a stable level. But some of the cells have swelled up. So you can see, you can kind of see that they're, they're starting to lean up a little bit. I'll just take one off and I'll show you how much they've swelled. But that's the first thing. I put, put a load on it and brought the voltage down. Now I'm going to try and compress the cells to get them back into shape. This is one of the cells that has swelled up and that's about how swollen it is. You can just see, you can see on the straight edge there, it's a little bit swollen in the middle. <laughs> so I'm going to put these cells together like this. I've got two bits of 18 mil flooring, just chipboard flooring. I've drilled two holes in it. I've got some threaded rod. I'm going to put a bit of flooring on e either end with some threaded rod and I'm just going to slowly try and compress the cells to get them back into shape a little bit and get the swelling out of it. I've got it tensioned up. I decided to put a piece in the middle just to, to give it a little bit more structure. So this is just half inch all thread, two bits running through. I might, might increase the width of these end pieces because they do have a little bit of a bow in them. but. I've just tensioned them up for now. I've just used a spanner and, and nipped them up tight, but not super tight. I haven't, I haven't completely compressed them flat. I'm gonna let it, let it sit like that for a few hours and then I'll tension it up a bit more and I'll gradually tension it up. The battery hasn't vented. I'm not sure how much punishment these things need before they blow a vent. And to me, it looks like the swelling is not too bad. So fingers crossed. We'll, we'll leave this for a few days and we'll come back to it. It's been several days since I put this battery in the clamp. I've removed the piece from the center in order to install these bus bars and I added a piece of timber at each end because the timber at the end was starting to bow a little bit. But the cells have compressed back into a reasonable shape. You can see that the gaps in between each cell have basically closed up. The threaded rod is under a fair bit of tension and some of the cells have started to bow out the other way in this, this end here. So I don't wanna put them under any more tension. I've already put the charger on them and, and put them, top them back up to about 3.2 volts. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. I don't really have a way of telling whether, how damaged this pack is going to be. I'm just gonna have to install it and see how it goes. But I just wanted to make this video for other people. If you, found, if you find that you've overcharged some of your cells and they've swelled up a little bit, don't panic. It may not be the end of the world. Just do something like this, just try and compress them back into shape. Obviously take the, the extra charge off the top of them and then just recharge them. Most people that do this sort of thing, they're not experts, but the, the thought of how difficult something is, is generally what prevents people from having a go. 
And there's a good saying, uh, I'm not sure who said it, but it's something like, success is going from failure to failure without giving up. And I, I believe that's true. Like I say, with this truck that I've built or that I'm building, I could have built it three times because every single thing that I've made, I've had to go back and remake because I've worked out that there's a better way to do it or I've messed things up along the way. I'm certainly no expert at this stuff. I just have ambition and just a willingness to have a go. That's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. The next thing I'm going to do is make some cases for these batteries and get them installed. So I'll see you soon.